Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multiple drive from your single drive C. When I buy the laptop, I got only one drive C and I want to split it into another drive so that I can keep my work files here. That's what I'm going to show you. So before I proceed to the video, let me tell you, if you do not have admin rights for your system, you cannot do this. In most scenarios, if you are using an uh, organization laptop, you might not have this admin access. Before I go to the main content, I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel. That will be a great help and appreciation for me. All right, so let's get started. To split the C drive, at first you need to access the control plan panel. To access the control panel, type in the search bar as control panel. Click on this. And it will open up the control panel so go to system and security here and you can see this option here uh, you need to be in system and security and if you scroll down below then you will see one windows tool option i am doing it in windows 11 system if you are using a different version this option might be slightly different but Ultimately, you need to find the Windows tool and here you, you will get this create and format a hard disk partition. So now we are here in the disk management and here we are going to do the main work, right? So you can see here all the drive listed here uh, for you. It might be only C drive and then disk 0 partition 1 and disk 0 partition 5. So here we need to only concentrate on the C, Windows SSD, or maybe a different name, but the letter C will be there. On right clicking here, it will open this different option and we need to go to the shrink volume option. Let me click here. This will open the window. And here I will, here you will see total size before shrink, total available amount that I can able to shrink the maximum it is and then a number that I want to shrink in okay so we cannot shrink the volume beyond the beyond our largest file size also that's also there here you can see so for this demo I'm going to create a 10 GB space so 10 GB space is equal to 10240 MB so let me show that calculator so 10 into 1024, right? 10240. To be in the safe side, I will make it 11,000. Okay. So this this will shrink the C drive by 10 GB, little bit over 10 GB, and a new volume will be created here. So as of now, this is unallocated volume, right? So now what I can do, I need to create is I can create a simple volume on top of this so let me show you again so right click here click on the new simple volume then it will open up the widget which will which will format the disk drive into specific format right so it will assign the letter E and the default format is NTFS format for Windows right so NTFS default volume volume level you if you want to change or give it a new name you can do it now as well as after formatting also you can rename it that's totally fine so i will keep it as it is and click on next and then click on finish so a new volume has created in my system in my disk and which is letter with e so now if i go back to this one you can see this e volume okay so likewise you can merge also this e volume with the c okay so what do you need to do you need to go to the e drive and right click and then you can click on delete volume so if i click on delete volume so then it will ask me that okay your data will be lost and all so eventually this will be unallocated space so just click on okay and next you will get here so now I can, you know, 
I can assign this 10 GB to C drive again. So if I click on here, and you can see a new option come up is the extended volume, right? So if I click on extend volume, this will open this widget, and I'll click on next, and see I can see that uh, space which is not allocated yet. Okay, so I can click on next, and this one will add those 10 GB back to my C drive. Okay, so this is it. Thank you for watching the video. If you have learned something new, please subscribe to my channel. I'm coming up with more videos in near future. Thank you.